everybody, I'm Jared Jameson. I'm a senior art director at TVWA Shia Day, Los Angeles. This painting is called The Light. Uh, I was brainstorming with a friend of mine and the idea of Slash and Burn came about. Crops were burned and chopped down before the seeds were planted. And this helped the crops grow, you know, after time. I took this same approach in explaining this piece because as more blacks get into advertising, the presence is becoming stronger. This is the strength that is growing, you know, within the industry. So here I am, 22 years old, working at McCann Erickson uh, in 1990. And I was the only brown face that um, uh, you would see. It made me feel special and uncomfortable. There are more African-American and Hispanic and Latino and Asian people working in the agencies now than there were when I started. But I still don't think that the percentage, if you will, accurately reflects the world. And nor does it accurately reflect what I think is actually needed to have a nice balance of ideas and creativity flowing through. When I was younger, there was always just one thing that kind of like lingered in my mind and kind of confused me as nobody in the commercials looked like me or my family. So I got into advertising to help change the narrative and like, you know, what other kids are seeing. It's something about black culture for white Americans. They don't understand it because it's a place where, you know, the majority of white people haven't been. It's been an incredible journey. It really has been an incredible journey, but it's been tough. And one of the reasons why it's been tough is there's not many people who look like me. It's very different, difficult for you to kind of attach yourself to other leaders um, from a role model perspective. And so I've constantly had to chart my own path. I was working with a creative director and I would have ideas about something, but you know, my ideas would get dismissed or just looked over and they would get, you know, defaulted onto the other art director that I was working on. You know, I had to sit the creative director down and say, hey, this is how I'm feeling. You know, so it got better from there, but when this stuff happens, like you can't just sit back and, and take that, you know, some people don't know that what they're doing is, is wrong. When somebody brought up diversity and inclusion and uh, somebody mentioned that, yeah, perhaps we should start talking about that as an agency because it's trending. It's a trending topic right now. And hearing that, like, just, it hit me and it really upset me. Like, diversity and inclusion is not, like, a trending topic. The two cultures don't understand each other. And one culture, the white culture, doesn't understand the benefits of having um, diversity of thought, diversity of opinion, and just because you don't get it doesn't mean it's not dope. When I was a producer, I sat in meetings looking at casting tapes and literally have someone say, this person is not black enough. And I would say, excuse me, what is black enough? And I had someone say, well, you don't count. There were times I've gone to meetings with my junior creatives and a CMO addressed them as if they were my boss, even though they were wearing shorts and a t-shirt to the meeting. <laughs> um, so sometimes there just becomes uh, that, that automatic feeling that when you're in the room that you can't possibly be the person who's the, uh, the brain behind the operation. If there's a topic or uh, a discussion that happens about my culture or, or anything like that, eyes automatically just look at you. I offer so much more than just like the person you can come to for black questions or like black insights. That's not cool and it's also not representative and it's not fair. You can't be afraid of who you are. Like you have to embrace it even though you may be one of few. You just have to own it and bring what you have to the table. All these wonderful, amazing things that come with like the different varieties of colors. 
I think the advertising agency is at risk of becoming obsolete if it doesn't understand how to institutionalize diversity at the very core and have gender diversity and ethnic diversity and cultural diversity at all levels of the agency structure. Diversity is very important in advertising because we provide a new, unique perspective. I do feel like being a black woman gives me a, a certain voice in that I'm able to use my perspective to my advantage uh, and have a, a very definitive perspective on um, issues, uh, cultural context that many others wouldn't see. When we did Nike Freestyle, is how Curtis is white as it gets. Um, Tim Hanrahan, white dude, John Jay, Asian cat, me and brother. And we did something um, unique. Have the conversation that makes people feel uncomfortable. Anybody working on a brand that has significant marketing dollars behind it has a responsibility to use diversity and inclusion as part of that brand narrative. I think that brands can actually push forward the values of society. You don't have to be like something to be a part of something. And so I think if everyone owned their diversity, owned who they really are, owned their own values, then you can still be a part of something and be diverse and have it be inclusive. That's what I honestly believe. What's it mean to be black in advertising? Unique. Yeah, I say unique. For me, powerful. A frontiersman. For me, it means to be a seeker. It means to be a magician and it means to be me.